you've just done so much. You've yeah. had such an incredibly varied career. Yeah, I'm lucky. I yeah. feel blessed. Now, we're talking to you on a day when there are more allegations of sexual harassment coming out uh, over in Hollywood. Uh, you've been in a Harvey Weinstein musical. You uh, were in a position where you had to serenade him when you were hosting the Tonys a couple of years ago. <laughs> what would you like to say this morning in the wake of all of these allegations? I would like to say that, first of all, I'm deeply hurt for the women. Um, I like to see them coming out strong and not being victims. They're strong. I hate it for any woman or man that this has ever happened to. And let's be honest, is hasn't I don't know of somebody who hasn't had situations that they've had to get mm. out of. Mm. I find myself doing like a weird, you know, arm fart noise and a booger. Like, you know, I just try to be funny. But the truth is we shouldn't have to do that stuff. No. We shouldn't have to do it. And so... Did you have a problem with him? Um, you know what? I, I really don't want to comment on that at this point. I, I see that... It sounds like a yes. I see that what I would like to say is I think there can be good that comes from it. I, mm. I, I think this is the beginning of a lot of, I think we'll see it in music and fashion and all kinds of things, and sometimes yes. chaos happens before order. And so... Why do you think everybody connives at it, though? I mean, I'm not in any way casting aspersions or blame, because what is, is. But why do you think it was an open secret in Hollywood that this guy was... was you just couldn't be alone with him in a lift or in a hotel? I'm not hotel sure. I, I'd like to know that of myself in many other situations with other people. Why do I shy away from it, you is know? It embarrassment? I, maybe it's a little bit of shame and also, oh, no, no, no. Today I, I looked in the, uh, today on the paper on the cover was Anna Friel, my friend here, who's dealt with it on her own. And I guess I just feel, again, we're not just talking about women, there's men who've had mm -hmm. this too. And mm -hmm. I think this is the beginning of something I'd like to think mm -hmm. this is going to turn out. Let's, I'm trying to stay positive, you guys. Let's look at good men like no, you in the business who have given us good behavior mm. and respect towards women. J.J. Uh, Abrams, I was on a plane with him yesterday, respectful. R uh, Brian Fuller, respectful. So there's lots of men in our industry who are not that, and that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to try to focus on. Yeah, um, well, absolutely. Let's focus on the respectful behavior, and let's hope that this is, you know, a strong signal has been sent the out. The there sure. is no more tolerance. For sure, Zero I think tolerance. we're going to see more. I think we'll see more. More names, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's inevitable, isn't it? Yeah, more names and more executives and more mm -hmm. directors and more actors. Yep. Uh, right, let's turn our attention to some positive Thank stuff. Thank you. Now, uh, <laughs> when you came in, of course, I, we know you as political junkies, journalism junkies from West Wing. You, uh, presumably, you have a, a role for every fan you meet. <laughs> Out of the roles you've had, you know, which, are you, which make your heart sing? Which do you wish you could leave behind? Ah. Oh. Gosh, you know, the one that I'm most proud of on television, I would say, is Pushing Daisies, huh? which I did I mention Anna Friel already. Um, I was just proud to be on it. Mm. Um, I think Glee has certainly changed the in our country, uh, making arts cool again. Yeah. Remember, we you guys are the forefront of the arts. We are babies. And so we needed our schools to come back and honor that. Um, Wicked is a part of my life and DNA that I'm very proud of. But that was 14, 14 years ago. You, were you know, saying, let's yeah. not let's not go too you far. You look great. Close. And you're, ju and you're just you. you're just the girl from Broken Arrow. That's that's your hometown I, in, I, in Oklahoma, right? I, Broken when Arrow. When you said Broken Arrow and you quoted like people, you know, where we're from in Oklahoma, it means a lot because that mm. is my history.